Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at a few quick beginner Photoshop skills. One is going to be using the brushes and the eraser and how to load um, other brushes up. So here we go. Let's start a new file really quickly with File New. You'll see here I've already got settings of 6 inches by 4 inches at a good resolution for basic printing, 150. Let's give this a start. And there's our piece of paper, our layer. Now you're going to notice all these tools you have here alongside of your Photoshop window and as you scroll down you're going to notice here one that looks like a brush. Now if somebody else was using the computer last and maybe left it as pencil it might also look like pencil. So you got to keep in mind that those little arrows mean that there's multiple tools hidden behind there that might look really different. So just make sure you're on the brush tool. Now whenever you're on one of these tools one thing to notice is this bar up here has the basic options for that tool. So you'll see here I can drop down and change the size. So if I draw like that or I can drop down, increase the size and now I'm drawing a lot thicker. Another thing you're going to notice here with the size of the brush is you also have different styles of brushes available to you here. Now with the different styles of brushes you obviously get neat little effects right that you can draw with and that's not all there's actually lots of different brushes I'll show you a little later how you can pull out way more than just the one shown here uh, some other things to point out you'll see here a thing called mode these modes are actually pretty complicated uh, for this course we always just stick in normal mode unless otherwise told and you may want to make sure you never accidentally click that because if you click this to another drawing mode you can actually get some very weird effects happening and then you don't know why so if you ever do find something weird happening check your mode make sure you're just a normal drawing mode another good option for your brush opacity you'll see here if opacity is very low and then I draw and let me just get back to a normal brush here you'll see it draws very faint whereas when the opacity is up higher it draws thicker and when you're at hundred percent you know that's a hundred percent of opacity means you can't see through it at all all right so that's another useful one you can use these other ones here you can explore with but they won't be a crucial factor in our uh, basic Photoshop work now we've been drawing in blue of course uh, you may draw in blue and then realize hey I want to change the color colors really easy colors just down here in these two windows or if you have your color window open it'll be over here and you can pick your colors now just let me show you using these things right here you can have two colors selected and you can actually flip them back and forth here one is called the foreground color that's the color you draw with and the other one's the background color it's just sort of a second color you can swap to let me change from blue I double click on this or just a single click and then you got your color window and you can see here very easy pick a color hit OK and now our foreground color changes to orange and now I'm drawing an orange right couldn't be easier or you can also use that window and just change it there super quick as well now the last thing we're going to show you in this video is uh, the eraser tool so the eraser tool is right down there you have a couple of erasers I'm just gonna take the standard one here you can erase and of course it erases what you drew now that's really tiny let's go to our options make it big a little bit easier there for drawing okay that's one way you can erase but the better way to erase is to hit control alt Z or sorry control shift Z or sorry it was control alt Z and you can actually go back in time so control alt Z goes backwards 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 right so that's a fast way and if you ever need to go backwards I think you can go to control shift Z takes you forward in time in case you've gone backwards in time and so that's a nice feature there so that's it for this video just some basic brush work knowing about the options up here and knowing the eraser and knowing how to pick your colors those are a few beginner starter things you just have to know Thanks for watching that one. Check out the rest. We're going to be showing you the other most useful things you have to know as a beginner.